Chrome OS 84 showed up a few weeks back and it actually had quite a few surprises and some stuff that we weren't anticipating showing up with this particular release. Things like an overhauled files app and some new functions for the camera and the ability to record an MP4. But of all the things that showed up that we were waiting on, the overview mode overhauls are probably among my favorite things that have changed in Chrome OS in the recent few months. And so because they're hard to articulate in written form and show people or explain to people exactly why this is so cool, we thought we'd make a video about it and show you guys exactly what is new with Chrome OS 84 and overview modes and virtual desks so you can actually see it in action. So here we have a dual monitor setup, and we're just using a USB Type-C monitor, but honestly, if, if you're using a big monitor, that's fine too, it doesn't matter. It's just that we're in the dual monitor setup, and I'm gonna show you why this is so powerful. So to show you, uh, I guess, uh, the difference between the two, let's look at what it used to do. So if I had all these windows open, for instance, on my primary screen, and say I wanna get this text editing app over onto this, particular desktop on that screen. So if I go back to here, what I used to have to do was first, I had to get back to this mode. So if I was looking and going, okay, I'm gonna put it up on that screen, I'd have to, okay, I'm gonna click back here. I'm gonna go and drag it over here. Then I'm gonna go back into this mode. Then I'm gonna drag it up into here. And that's kind of cumbersome, obviously. If you're doing that multiple times, you're going in and out of overview mode, back and forth, all this kind of stuff. Now, if I go into overview mode, I don't even have to go back to that. I can say, okay, I also want, let's say I want this messages app in that spot too. I don't have to bring it up, take it over there, go back to overview mode. I can just grab this thing, go straight there, boom, done. And I'll oh, say I want this one on, eh, I, don't, I don't want it on that monitor, I want it on this monitor on this desk. So boom, drop that there. Let me drop this one here. And then we're gonna go to that one there. And I like that one to stay where it is. And this one on that screen for this one. Boom, now my setup's ready. And so I have all my virtual desktops set up exactly where I want them. And then if I need to change something again, I can go into overview mode on that one and we'll just move it. Ah, I don't like it there. So let's instead, I wanna go over to this desk, back to desk one on this monitor. And you can just see very quickly, if you're using virtual desks and multiple different apps or windows open across those desks on multiple monitors, how clunky it used to be versus how simple and straightforward this is. And honestly, when new users approach this OS, they're gonna expect to be able to just grab that thing and move it. And for what it's worth, in tablet mode, you've been able to do this for quite some time. If I were in an overview mode in tablet, I could grab this and move it to different places. They've also added the ability now, you can see these bars show up on the side, or if I go over here, to just snap those into place as well. Uh, and you know, most people don't use desktop snapping. There's also you know a way to do that from here. You can just click and pull to the side, that works. You could just grab the window and yank it to the side, that works. So there's multiple ways to get desktop snapping that have always been there. But now it's nice that if you were in overview mode and you quickly want to snap two apps into place, you can just go whoop, that one over there, whoop, grab this one, whoop, grab it to the wrong, wrong desk. Bring it over here, and again from overview mode, right there. Maximize that one back. Again, desktop snapping is probably better off for tablet mode, but that's clearly where they took this from. And then lastly, they've added the ability to maximize and snap full screen right from here. So if I drag this to the top, it maximizes. And used to, in order to bring it down from here to take it to another screen, I would have to minimize and then drag the window off. Now I can just pull it down from the top, it goes back to its small shape, and I can move it between desks or desktops. And if I maximized here and I quickly want to grab it and bring it over here, I don't have to do two motions. I just grab the bar, pull it down and drag it over. And so I've gotten into the habit now, if I'm going to set up my desktops from scratch, these desktops persist now and you can name them. And so each time you open your Chromebook up, even if it's from a fresh new start, even though there won't be anything in them, they'll be named. And so on most of, most of my other Chromebooks, I have them named accordingly to the stuff that I want to put in there. I'll just go into this first desktop open up all the stuff I need. So my music player, my messaging apps, my Chrome windows, Gmail, all the things that I know I'm gonna open, I'll just open them all right there. I'll go into overview and then start dragging things into place 
on whichever desk I want, on whichever monitor I want, and then everything's set and it's ready to go. And then boom, I'm, I'm getting to work. Instead of spending a good three to four minutes maximizing and minimizing and swiping and moving all through just to get my desk set up. It's still nice to be able to move through them quickly with a swipe or a keyboard shortcut, but being able to set them up in this quick way is just a nice productivity tool. And it's something that I think is just a nice maturation of the overview mode in Chrome OS in general. But guys, that's it for this one. We just wanted to show you what that looks like in action. Because again, it's very hard to articulate that in words. Uh, much easier to see it in motion and see how beneficial this is to most users. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. Make sure and hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. And also hit that join button if you'd like to see all the cool stuff that our members get like behind the scenes footage and custom emoji. Until next time. We'll see you.